Hi, everypony. Today, we'll be doodling a little bit. You know what it is? Go ahead and follow down below if you want to join my little rat army. I was inspired today to like do some small cutesy drawings with colored line art. So that's what we're doing. I started out with my first syndrome and you can see in the middle I have like a rat. <laughs> I mean, it's not a rat yet, but it will be. But then I was like, what if I did a lot of syndrome faces? So here I have like a ooh woo syndrome. Please, Mr. Incredible, do not crush me in my robot. Ooh, -woo, I will be good. <laughs> And I'm just coloring the line art. And something else I'm doing is I'm using a different brush to draw than normal. I'm using a brush from True Grit. It's called Jittery Anchor. And I was pretty nervous to use it at first because I've always stuck with the Kyle's cartooning brush a bit smoother and that's pretty much it. But I've been wanting to experiment lately with my process of doing things. So I do my typical like coloring on the under layer, things like that. And sometimes with this, I'll go on the top layer to color as well, just to shake things up. Comment below how you like to change up your routine sometimes. Do you ever just like do something different, pick a new brush? Do you use multiple brushes when you draw? Because I've always just used one. And sometimes I hardly even change the size of my brush. People would always say, oh, you don't have any line weight. And I'm just like, what do you mean? I like lifted up my pen just a little bit in this corner. <laughs> I think most people like using different brush sizes, like entirely different ones. But I just keep doing the emotions. I want to have like different facial features. I was thinking like, oh, if these were emotes in my TikTok stream, maybe people could use them. I do have two extra spaces. Check out my TikTok down below. But anyways, I just keep going with that. I want to like have these very simplified chibi faces. I want them to be very indicative of his emotions. People comment that I never draw him with his mask. I don't want to cover up his face, okay? First of all, the mask is silly. It's goofy because how would you not know who he is? That little piece of fabric does not hide anything. But the whole mask thing is a different discussion. I'm not gonna rant to you guys about my issues with masks. But I will rant to you really quickly because I like watching mukbangs and sometimes they just show their jaw and I can recognize every single mukbang girly by her jaw. I don't need to read the name. If I can recognize her by her jaw, how do superheroes go about their lives with just a face mask, like only covering their eyes and that's it? I feel like, especially if you're like a noticeable person, if you're like a loser, I get it if no one knows who you are. But if you're famous, then that doesn't make any sense. And I know it sounds hypocritical because my sauna has a mask, but she's just doing it because that's what society has set us up to be okay with. Comment below, if you are a hero or a villain, would you wear a mask? Would you even bother or would you just like live unapologetically as a hero slash a villain? Because I feel like that's the way to go. Anyways, I keep coloring in the faces. I color the line art differently. I make different choices. Like I want to use dark line art in areas that conflict. So like when his ear touches his hair, I choose dark eyeliner art, but for his inner hair area, I do all orange, things like that. And then after that, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I wanna fill this page. So I finished the wrap. And you're gonna see that it's been like a weird combination of syndrome doodles as well as rat doodles. I just do random rats. I give this rat his little nippy nips because that's what rats have. And I'm, as you can see, anatomically accurate with animals. Mm-hmm. I, as well as people. I then doodle in Buddy's face and I had to laugh at that because I say anatomically correct quote unquote and then there's this. It's that one me with like the crying face. I'll try to find it. But I wasn't using any references with these. I was just working from memory and trying to catch a vibe. I feel like working from memory really helps you gather what's most important. Because if the image I'm thinking of doesn't have some things, or if I'm forgetting some things, I feel like either it's just the fault of my human brain, or it's not the most important thing visually. At this point, I go, what if I draw a cute syndrome? And in my head, it was really cute. In my head, the execution was very adorable. And then, on the paper, it didn't quite happen that way. He looks like a weird fish. He does not look cute. He looks like an item you'd find in the bottom of the ocean. It was at this point where I thought, okay, I'll give him his mask. The mask didn't help, but it was too late. I was committed to the choice and I couldn't go back now. 
So, and then I changed the mouth. I'm like, maybe the mouth just looks weird. No, it just kept looking weird. So then I gave him like a very basic smile and some blush cheeks. I thought that was good enough. That, I just had to stick with it. At this point, I was running out of ideas. So I did more rats. Whenever I like call you guys rats, if I'm like bad rat or good rat, it's because my name is LA. My initials spell lab. So I thought, you know, you guys are like my little lab rats. We're just experimenting in the lab. This little doodle sheet is my experiment that I'm subjecting you to. So I just draw these rats. This rat is angry. I wanted an angry rat because I wanted to stick to the color palette I had kind of set up. And I was like, stinky rat. Rat is angry because they permanently stink from some horrendous experiment. And yeah, this rat, this rat says, F you. So it's got this little rat finger up. And I really like how I drew the rat's hands because they're not detailed at all. But you can tell what's going on. Then I thought, you know what? Let Buddy say too. So then I added his little angry face. And I, I imagine like maybe he forgot to file his taxes or something. So he's like, no! The government plane is door. requesting permission to land here. He already escaped from US territory with his island. But I don't know if he's supposed to pay taxes or not. I don't know how that works. But I bet he does because he looks really angry about it. I bet he put someone up to the job and they didn't do it. And now he's upset. He's gonna get his island repossessed after he just got it back. And then I like made him look very sleep deprived. Like he's been up all night trying to find these taxes and file them and put them in before it's too late. Then I went back in, I like added more darker outlining to the sclera of the other eyes because I was like a cute little thing, you know, it helped differentiate some areas. And then I thought, what if I had like a little white outline, like a sticker sheet? I wish I could make sticker sheets, but until then, we can pretend. I have more rats than this rat. I don't know who he is, but he looks familiar. I know this rat. I don't owe him anything. I wouldn't know this rat if I saw him on the street, but I drew this rat from memory and I feel like he looks recognizable. If you know this rat, drop his name in the comment section because something about this rat is menacing. Then I draw an orange rat. I thought, let's have a rat that matches Buddy's hair. But then this rat, at first I was like, I don't know any orange rats. This is unrealistic. Put the orange rats on the screen. But I feel bad for this little rat because his nose is so like long and ugly. He looks like one of those little long nosed creatures from the meme, like the long nosed dog things, aw. He's the ugliest one. Look at him, he's a freak. Then I thought, let's give him whiskers. People always say, rats have whiskers, rats have whiskers, give them whiskers. He doesn't look good. So those are the only two rats with whiskers, I believe. Then I add this big head rat. I want to have like a rat of a different shape. I want to like play around the shape of the rats. So I give like this big head and this itty bitty body and it's just stargazing. No feet, just laying down, looking at the sky, wondering why God has cursed it so. I keep drawing rats and I made these little spirals in the rat ears because I made a spiral by accident at first. And I was like, wait a second. Do that again. And I like this rat, it's really cute. I always hate it, but the pale rats look really cute and it feels like, I don't know, like I'm hitting on the darker rats. <laughs> but anyways, I gave this rat soap bubbles because the rats, like they all work in the quote unquote hypothetical lab. So maybe this rat's the clean rat. Maybe it washes the dishes. It's like really upset because the stinky rat's in the room. Now I know what you see, but this shape is not what it looks like. I was really trying to hurry up and get it done because I'm like, no! But anyways, I like trying to hurry up with this rat. I'm like, that's a cool rat. And it looks like a gross item for a little bit. But now it looks like a rat. And I'm like, how can I make this rat cool? I give him shades. I'm like, what do cool rats do? I'm cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm plenty cool. I give him a toothpick in his mouth. That's what cool guys like. Dental hygiene. And then I'm like, oh, what do cool people do? So I just give them, you know, a, what do the kids call it? A doobie. You know, cool rat, he's chill with the homies. I keep doing rats to fill it in, but then I'm like, let me do a bunny instead. This one's hideous. Don't look at him. He's the worst buddy out of the sheet. At that point, the syndrome machine, AKA me, was running out of juice. So I was like, what should this buddy even do? And then I thought, what if he's a little, a little nosy guy? Look how ugly he is! 
<laughs> pretty much anyone else I see bunny except for me. But anyways, I'm like adjusting his hair. His hair is not herring, okay? But his hair is like a flame onion shape. But like, is this a flame and an onion? Yes, but it's not his flame and his onion. But then I thought, you know what? It's okay. He's nosy. Let's let's not even think about it. I start adjusting some areas. I shrink and separate some parts so they feel like separate, you know? A cute little sticker sheet. Wish I could make actual stickers for you guys, but maybe one day. And that's the end of it. Here's our cute little bunny faces and our cute little rats. If you've been drawing along, make sure to stretch your little artist fingers. And thanks so much for watching. This is pretty fun to do. I like our little squeak squeaks and our little flaming boy. Here's the full thing. And if there's anything you'd like me to talk about in a future video or draw, let me know. Drop in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.